Hey guys, it's Miss Alina Mina here, and I've got another first impressions video for you. Today's video is on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So this is not the blush palette. I will leave a link down below for the blush palette review. This is for the original Ambient Lighting Palette, which is the highlighting palette. Before I get started, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love videos like this and you want me to do more of them. And if there's any product that you want me to do next, be sure to leave a comment below and I will do my best to get those done. So let's go ahead and get started. So this palette includes three of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. Each one in this palette is .116 ounces. A full size would be .35 ounces and a full size is $45 each. And this whole palette is going to cost you $58. So unless you're extremely rich, I would say if you're interested in trying these powders, I would get the palette because getting to try three of them for less than the price of two full size ones. Yes, you're getting less product, but I've been using the blush palette and they go a really, really long way, so you don't need a lot. So it comes in this cute little box and it's a similar size and look to the blush palette. It's got a mirror inside. So this palette features three shades of ambient lighting powder, the high-tech soft focus finishing powder that recreates the most exquisitely flattering types of light. So basically these powders kind of play off of how light reflects off your face. It says it filters out harsh light and refines the appearance of the complexion. That's pretty good. Dim Light is supposed to be a neutral peach beige powder that blurs imperfections and highlights the complexion. Incandescent Light is an opalescent pearl powder that brightens the complexion with a celestial glow. And the last one is Radiant, a sun-kissed golden beige powder that enhances the complexion with believable subtle warmth. I know you guys are thinking what you're thinking. Highlighting powder is highlighting powder. I want to see what it looks like. So let's get to swatching. All right, so I swatched the colors and since there's only three of them, I just did it right on my hand. So here is what they look like. This first color here is dim light. The middle color is incandescent light. And the last color over here is radiant light. So by looking at them, they have a really, really good pigmentation for a highlighting powder. That really, really excites me. This is just without a primer. This is just straight swiping through. One little swipe of it. And I will actually say that I think that dim light is going to be one of my favorites. Because I use NARS Albatross, but sometimes I feel like it's a little really bright and I have to blend it through. And even this one, the incandescent light, even though it does look kind of white, it's actually not as white as NARS Albatross. And radiant light looks cool, but I don't know how it's going to work as a highlight just because it is a little bronzing which I think would be ideal in the summertime when you're a little more tan. I don't think that I would say that this is a palette that you guys absolutely need. If you're a makeup artist or obsessed with makeup like I am, then okay, yes, you do need it. But if you just use make makeup like as an everyday thing, you're not really that into it, honestly, you're probably not going to be able to tell the difference between the three different ones. So I would probably recommend not to get it if you're just not really that into it, but if you're really into makeup, then I would say definitely get it just because I know I know how it, how it is. You gotta collect it all. I think there are cheaper options that may not look as nice, but as far as a highlighting powder, it's one of those things that for the most part most people don't even use on a daily basis as it is, so I would probably recommend not to pick it up because it is $58, which is pretty pricey. If you're trying to decide between getting the blush palette or the, the ambient lighting palette, I would say definitely get the blush palette just because most people wear blush and those blushes, I've been using them like crazy and I absolutely love them. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.